What is up guys? I got the Stellar Blade trailer going here. This trailer was released in Sony's State of Play back in January. And what I want to do is talk to you guys about all of the amazing outfits that we see the main protagonist of Stellar Blade, Eve, wearing in this trailer. Now, I got a lot to show you. There are 21 outfits. Some are really crazy. They all look great. After watching the trailer, it was clear that we're gonna have some amazing outfits. So in this breakdown, what I'll be doing is talking about just how amazing they are and also revealing some really cool things that we can learn about the video game from breaking these outfits down. So with that, let's rewind. We're gonna go back and take a look at Eve's first outfit and let's get into it. Eve's first outfit is a form-fitting suit with a green color that shines and reflects ambient light with the environment. I've got a theory that Eve's suits slash outfits are dynamic and that they'll change in terms of her ability to wear them with an overcoat or with a headpiece such as a hoodie. You guys will see at various points there are either hoods or headpieces that Eve has hanging from the back of her outfits. For the green starter outfit here, I'll point this out when it comes up, but it appears the clear material falling from Eve's shoulders and back can take the form of a hood that Eve can pull up upon herself. But again, I'll point this out when this comes up a little later. So working down from her neck, we see this elegant black lace choker with a tag in the front that has the name Eve on it in neon green. Now, this gives us clues that maybe Eve isn't human. Perhaps she's an android and she's one in a series of Eves that kind of come off of a conveyor belt. I'll show you later that there is also some writing lower in her outfit as well. It gives off this vibe that she's actually a product with a serial or model number written on her. So perhaps she's a particular combat series android or something like that. But back to addressing her name as Eve, we do learn that one of the main side characters, it looks like this is going to be one of Eve's companions, is named Adam. So regardless of if Eve is a human or android, we are in for some Christian influences here in Stellar Blade. Okay, and as we work down Eve's outfit, we see some beautiful white lace to complement Eve's black choker, a really cool schoolgirl green and black tie, and the illuminated and metallic components of her body that seem to be either a power source or energy component to her suit. Perhaps it has to do with Eve's shields that she'll deploy in combat. And then Eve's got some pretty functional white gauntlets on. I'm sure she's going to be rocking various blades in the game, so it makes sense that she's going to have some stylish gauntlets to grip her sword during combat. We also see various gauntlets on some of Eve's other outfits, so it's going to be great to see how creative the Shift Up developers got with Eve's gauntlet design. Okay, so here in this shot, we see Eve standing in the rain, and this is what I was talking about earlier in terms of Eve's dynamic outfits. It looks like she has a hood on. We don't see any of her long hair, and the shape of her head looks like a silhouetted hood shape. So if this is the case, that's such a cool design feature because it gives the player more choice in how Eve looks and also serves some functionality, as in this example of Eve standing here in the rain. Like, okay, if it's raining, why don't we just have the ability to throw up a hoodie to keep dry? So, very cool feature here. Again, this is just a theory I have about Eve's outfits, but I'll point out this dynamic hood feature in Eve's other outfits later. So you'll see by the end of the trailer that it's an almost confirmation we'll be able to wear hoods and headpieces during gameplay. During the Stellar Blade State of Play trailer, the exposition narrator states that Eve is part of the 7th Airborne Squadron. The emblem on the right side of Eve's chest could be that military designation, but we see the emblem has the shape of a star and a blade pointing downward. So this is probably pointing to the name Stellar Blade. <laughs> perhaps the 7th Airborne Squad's nickname is Stellar Blade, or perhaps Eve's identifier or call sign is Stellar Blade, kind of like Air Force fighter pilots and how they receive call signs, such as Maverick, Iceman, or Goose from the Top Gun films. Now, we get a great shot of the backside of Eve. This is great character and outfit design because there is so much going on here, and it makes sense for the design to be so intriguing since Stellar Blade is a third-person action game. Since we are going to be 
in third person mode and looking at the back side of Eve for the entirety of the game, it is only fitting that we get some great design features on the back of Eve. We see some synthetic components that appear to be attached to the back of Eve. This immediately gives off some Matrix and Ghost in the Shell vibes, which I am loving, as Eve's back looks like there are implants and synthetic pieces that go directly into her body. Later on in this breakdown, I'll point out some other outfits, as well as a screen grab of one of the game's menu screens that shows an upgrade tab titled X. So, spine. so this design feature of the synthetic components along Eve's back and spine are not only design oriented, but will also change depending on what upgrades are earned and equipped as the player progresses through the game. The exospine is most likely what provides Eve with her superhuman maneuverability and movement feats. As we look at the upper left quadricep area of Eve, we can see the name designation Eve written vertically. It's not apparent at first because of the font, but once you see it, you can clearly see the name Eve, so just another identifier on her bodysuit. I'll stop it again a couple times so you can get another look at it. The letters E, V, and E are written in all caps, and then there is a horizontal line underneath the last E, but once you see it, you got it, and it's hard to miss in future shots. Next is Eve's right leg. There is a whole bunch of text here. Some is in English and some I believe is written in Korean. I'm just guessing this because Shift Up is a South Korean based studio. I could be wrong, but I think it's written in Korean. Some revealing information here is that there is also what looks like a scanning code. And then also after the Korean text, there is a TM marking as in trademark. So this just really gives off the notion that Eve is an Android. I mean, it appears that Eve herself, or at least this bodysuit can be scanned, perhaps within a large warehouse or something like that, where a bunch of androids or bodysuits are produced. All right, and then when we look at the text in English, we can see a few things written. From the bottom going upward, there are four dots written first. Now, we see these dots in the gameplay component of this trailer. So the four dots are associated with what is called BU and BE. I don't know what those letters mean, blade something, I'm guessing. So BU and BE are shown on the gameplay HUD, and it appears to be linked to Eve's specials and are a requirement for special attacks that can be built up throughout the game, similar to a magic or stamina meter. Then we get the words Eve, Proto, followed by a colon, of seventh descending force. And then I cannot make out the last word, and as we move up the leg some more, we see the word truth. Then we move past the line pattern, and we see the letters EXXX. My only thought here is that this is associated or has something to do with triple X, XXX, in that Eve is a gorgeous and sexy character. So maybe it's just something fun the developers put on Eve as a wink and a nod to Eve being a beautiful character. Then I took this screenshot. This is not from this specific trailer, but it's actually from the trailer that was released about a year or two ago that shows what the last bit of text reads. It says, devastating like lightning. So again, this text seems to be something you might find on a piece of technology or a product. If you think about your phone or a computer in the real world, you sometimes see text written that states its capabilities or model numbers. I'm thinking this is pretty close to a confirmation that Eve is android and she's maybe a super high-tech prototype herself or maybe she is in fact human and all this text is referring to only the bodysuit that she's wearing moving lower down the back of eve to her butt we see text on eve that tells us some good information building upon this theory that eve is an android or at least the bodysuit that eve wears is one in a series of suits that are given to members of her seventh airborne squadron we see the number 07 and underneath that name designation of eve again so the seven is probably related to her seventh airborne squadron having the 07 and her call sign or name designation eve on her backside is a great character design choice considering again this is a third person video game 
I really want to give props to the development team at ShiftUp for really understanding this component to character design and that we, the player, should be able to see these design features. All right, and then lastly, I wanted to highlight Eve's gauntlets again because it looks like we are going to be able to have some different color schemes for the outfits that Eve wears. If you look at the glove part of her gauntlets, you can see that the starter green suit has a white design and then the glove we see here is black and red, but it looks very similar to the same white glove. Furthermore, if you look at Eve herself, look kind of like beyond the glove, you can see the same necktie and shoulder material that was present on the green starter outfit, but now it's red and black. So this confirms we'll be able to get multiple color schemes for each outfit. And then again here, I pause at the end of this special attack to show that Eve has that same red colorway pattern shown just before. And we clearly see the same bodysuit as the green and black starter suit. And then this shot shows another color scheme as Eve pulls out some type of wire. And we can see she's got the same starter suit, but it's now a gold and black colorway. From here on out, we get to see several other outfits, but we don't see as many shots of them. So I'll continue to break them down, but there will be way less info to go over. However, there are so many good looking ones to show. I can't believe how much time the developers put into these. So hopefully we can appreciate their hard work and really get psyched to play as Eve in so many different outfits. Outfit number two is the Neon Choker. There is a lot going on with this suit, but the obvious things we notice first is that Eve is wearing a bomber jacket that resembles a jacket you might see an Air Force pilot wearing when they are off duty. So I think the developers definitely took inspiration here since Eve is a member of an airborne squadron. And then as you look at Eve's suit itself, we see another bodysuit, which we can see here without the jacket. The material resembles that of how carbon fiber print looks. It's got a great sheen to it. And again, hats off to the developers as they've even included a pendant that is dangling on the front side of Eve on her upper chest. We already know that Eve can wear jewelry such as earrings, so perhaps the jewelry customization is going to run really deep and we'll get opportunities to deck out Eve with all sorts of pendants, earrings, and other accessories. Now, as we pause here, we can begin to see the number 03 written on Eve's right butt cheek. So this again insinuates a model or serial number, and then there's something going on with the neon cable that's coming out of Eve's back hip area. It looks like it's come loose in combat, so this tells us that our outfits are going to be affected dynamically by the environment. Perhaps this cable has come loose in combat, and it may have a gameplay mechanic effect on the player. Now we see Eve in the same outfit, but the bomber jacket is removed. Perhaps the jacket has come off in combat, or the player can simply equip or unequip jackets. Eve is looking and stacked here, both herself and with her arm cannon. And here is where we can really see how it functions. It appears to be floating or somehow attached to Eve's arm without her actually needing to hold it. Perhaps this is a magnetic connection or something like that. Now, if you look on the right side of Eve's chest, we see her name E-V-E -E, written here twice. The yellow letters Eve looks like it's part of her actual bodysuit. And then the Eve that is written in black letters and the yellow background looks like a name patch that is attached to her suit. This one resembles something you might see more on a uniform or in the military. We saw in the first clip of this suit that the carbon fiber print has a transparent effect on some parts of it. The bodysuit runs over Eve's entire body, but portions of it are transparent, so it appears Eve's skin is exposed here. However, her body is completely encapsulated by the suit. It just appears that her skin is showing in some parts, such as the side of her body and along her arms. Outfit number three is the checkered hoodie. We get the black leather pants with a back lace and some inner thigh skin showing. Having Eve's skin show in different spaces is a really cool look, and since Eve moves gracefully through the air with her attacks and overall maneuverability, we'll see all types of different angles of her. So it's a great idea by the developers to have an unusual design component, such as this, with exposing skin in this area. However, 
Eve's probably got to have some serious chafing issues in an outfit like this since her thighs would constantly be rubbing together. But in all seriousness, I'm loving this outfit. We continue to see Eve wearing some finger digit gloves that serve as her gauntlets, and when we see the back of her neck, we can see another exospine component at the top of her spinal cord. And then we see that this outfit has a hood. I really don't think the developers would include several outfits with hoods unless we had the ability to wear them. I think Shift Up wants to hold some things close to Eve's chest and not reveal too much. For now, this is a close confirmation that Eve can in fact wear hoodies. And this suit also has some upper, outer side thigh skin showing and we get to see some incredibly high heels worn by Eve that look like they're actually attached to the leather pants. The details on the pants with the straps, the chains attached to the top of Eve's hoodie, and the ones that attach her finger glove to her sleeve, as well as the light components really make the outfit pop. Outfit number four, the peace coat. Eve's moved on to wearing a black and yellow leather jacket with the word peace. And then something else, I just can't make it out, but that runs along the outside strap collar of Eve's jacket. Eve's got some lace component to the back of her jacket as well, no doubt to allow her room for the back exospine components that are attached along her spine. I imagine if she has some really gnarly and big synthetic pieces attached to her spine, she would need to loosen the back of her jackets that she wore. And then, as we move along to the front of Eve, we see the letters E-V-E written again on this jacket. These shots show us a little more of the back and side of Eve with some string slash lace showing and then her jeans have this great weave pattern that reveals a bit more skin. And then finally we see Eve's heels here. In the real world nobody would be running in these but in terms of design they look amazing. They got some straps along the top and even have a matching golden illuminating vertical band down the back heel. Outfit number five, blue collars. This outfit is only shown once. We only see the blue collar with some dark sequins running along the edge, some black suspender straps that most likely provide Eve with some much needed upper body support, and a white top with button shoulder tabs. Outfit number six is the turtleneck. This outfit is only shown once as well, a really nice looking gray turtleneck that Eve can wear now, similar to what we saw with the neon choker outfit, we see a beautiful yet different pendant hanging along on Eve's necklace. So this tells us we'll be able to see Eve with different types of jewelry. Right now, the pre-orders for Stellar Blade are live, and part of the pre-order bonus for digital and the digital deluxe versions of the game include outfit accessories such as glasses and earrings. So I gotta wonder how deep does the accessory component to character customization go? Will we also get to customize other jewelry on Eve, such as the necklace here, or is this necklace tied to this particular outfit? Outfit number seven, we see her with this gray denim jacket that has a worn and rugged look to it. And then on the collar tips, we see this black pyramid crest on each of her collars. Now, I'm really digging how creative the developers have gotten in terms of tying her choker together with the front straps to Eve's top. The middle ring holding the straps together really give off an elegant aesthetic, and it contrasts to the worn, rugged denim jacket that really works. Outfit number eight, the red and black gothic skirt. We get to see a little more of Eve. This outfit just emits a dark gothic tone. The gauntlets and Eve's neck collar have a great red argyle pattern that is complemented by a red single knot bow tie. This outfit also has some chains that help hold everything together. And the top of her outfit is finished off by another pendant, this time shining neon red. We get to see Eve do an incredible elegant backflip and we see a red pattern crest on the front of her skirt. Moving down Eve's body to her legs, there are some black leather leggings held up with a lace pattern along the front of her thigh, but only in the front to her undergarment that caps off the dark gothic design of this outfit. Outfit number nine is the red leather skirt. This outfit is freaking crazy in its design. We've got a couple of thin black straps that run along Eve's upper belly and then wrap around to her back. 
When you look up at Eve's chest, we see the red leather suit continue and it runs horizontally and as it continues around the side and back of Eve, the leather stops and we transition to this neon red orangish mesh. That looks like something that is perhaps laser printed. It can stretch and compress depending on Eve's movements. I'm loving this red leather arm piece that runs down the entirety of Eve's right arm. It contrasts with her left arm which is completely exposed and then finally we get some thigh high high black leather stockings that match and complement the red leather skirt. The leggings have a back strap and then on the outside have this cool looking mesh component on the top. Outfit number 10, the yellow bikini. Okay, we were transitioning to the crazy with the last couple of outfits, but now we're full on with this crazy outfit that besides being incredible in the awesomeness it shows us of Eve actually reveals and helps give us an almost confirmation that we are going to have different looks of the exospine depending on how we choose to upgrade it. I took a screen grab of one of the upgrade menus that was shown in this trailer and we see one of the tabs is labeled exospine. I pointed out earlier in the breakdown that I was going to show this so I just wanted to bring it up here because this yellow bikini suit has the gnarliest looking exospine component we've seen so far. It appears attached all across the spine and shoulders of Eve, and I really like that it exudes a sci-fi element to this game. It's sexy but almost creepy as well, and it adds to the reverence that Eve is a beautiful character, but she's also deadly and unique as well. This yellow bikini suit is so revealing. I think the developers went full tilt here with their design of Eve. I can imagine the designers and concept artists were probably drawing dozens if not hundreds of concepts of Eve and I'm sure they had some really fun meetings with the game director where the team got to show off what they've come up with in terms of design and then inevitably land on some that were super creative and fun like this one. Outfit number 11, the red bodysuit. This is another type of bodysuit that runs the full length of Eve's body, and it's complemented by this dangling, loose, red utility-looking belt that really reminds me of Rogue from the 1990s X-Men cartoon. As Eve kicks this robot enemy, we can see another exospine component that is even larger than the one we saw in the yellow bikini outfit. But this one looks like it's actually built into the suit, so perhaps we are not able to customize the exospine, or we can only customize or change it on some of the suits, whereas on suits where it's actually built in, it'll appear this way as more of an integrated part of what Eve wears. And then as Eve finishes her kicking attack, we see some really nice red weaved gauntlets that she is rocking. And is that red hair on Eve? I'm not sure. It looks like Eve's hair is red here. Perhaps it's just the color hue of the sun and sand reflecting off of Eve to make it look like her hair is red. But it would be awesome if we could change Eve's hair in terms of color and look as part of the character customization. Outfit number 12, the velvet long sleeve. What is immediately noticeable is the opening along Eve's back. The clear plastic reminds me of something on a hazmat suit or on the flap doors of a pop-up quarantine tent. We see the red hexagonal pattern run down the clear plastic. This is another outfit that has an opening along Eve's back and is meant for the player to see the current exospine that Eve has equipped. Again, in terms of game design, this is something so clever as it's something that really only makes sense in the video game space as this is a third person video game because Eve is viewed from the back for the majority of the time that we play as her. And then to finish off her outfit, Eve has a really nice black leather hat glove with a strap that attaches it up her forearm and it looks like Eve is wearing either some really dark denim jeans or black leather pants and on the front of her top she has some red velvet ruffles that tie everything together. Outfit number 13 shiny gold top. This is one of my favorite outfits of the trailer. Eve's rocking a shiny gold top that has a lined pattern running inward and down the midsection of her torso. And then she's got so much going on in her collar and shoulder area, it looks like she has some functional black suspenders that resemble a gun shoulder harness. We see another choker on Eve. This time, she's got an orange neon light emitting from it. The collar straps create such an elegant pattern, and the mesh that runs down her 
cleavage area makes me think that the gold top is actually a coat that can be shed at some point, and there's some form of a bodysuit underneath that Eve will eventually wear. The back of Eve reveals an exospine with a really creepy but fascinating network of attachments to Eve's neck, spine, and shoulders. This is such a cool look. I love all the enhancements and body modifications in such series as Cyberpunk and Ghost in the Shell, and it looks like Stellar Blade is going to make a huge impact in this space as well. As we continue to see the enhancements of Eve's exospine get more creative and intriguing in each of the outfits we see. Outfit number 14, schoolgirl inspired look. I love how this outfit has the girdle attached to the dark denim jeans. This top of Eve's outfit is loose and baggy. This again can give Eve's body some room underneath her top as her exospine can be quite bulky as seen in some of her previous outfits. And then as we see the front of Eve, she's got this metal emblem with a logo that seems to have wings on it. Perhaps this is a reference to her 7th Airborne Squadron. I'm loving how baggy the white top is and the movement and flow of it draped over Eve. The black tie and matching collar and cuffs give it a great overall look and really tie together this school girl look. As Eve finishes through with her sword swipe, we see a black star on Eve's top. It looks like this could be another Stellar Blade logo as we see the star seems to be cradled by a sword hilt. I love the girdle and how it comes all the way up past Eve's belly button and mid torso, and the denim jeans have a nice shredded and worn look to them. Outfit number 15 is the Black Spy Weapon X inspired suit. We get another incredible bodysuit. Eve looks graceful yet deadly in all black and the gold slash yellow trim that really reminds me of the Weapon X suits that Wolverine and Sabretooth wore in the comics when they went on their covert missions as part of the Weapon X program. If you look at her gauntlet, it looks almost robotic, a really cool look, and I'm sure the tech in the gauntlet can amplify Eve's capabilities. But this is the first time we see a futuristic armor-powered look to one of Eve's gauntlets, and it just looks really futuristic and cyberpunk-inspired. As Eve descends downward, we can see some of the orange neon lights emitting from her. I know this isn't realistic, as she wouldn't want to be illuminating if she is moving covertly, overtly, but the lights give us the ability to track her better. And come on, the lights just give off such a cool vibe in all of Eve's outfits. Outfit number 16, the teal and white front zipper bodysuit. We only see this one once, but I'm replaying and pausing it to try and get another look at this outfit, but it's pretty hard to make out. It's got a white gray section that runs down the front, and it looks like the top has horizontal sections running across, as the middle is split vertically by a zipper that runs from Eve's neck to the bottom of her pelvis. And as our eyes move downward, we see the illuminating lights emitting a light blue hue. The orange explosion from the enemy she is frying up with her laser looks great in contrast with the blue tones of her suit. So we know the lights from Eve's bodysuits and outfits, as well as the lighting from the environment, are going to create some scenarios that will highlight Eve in unique lighting. Outfit number 17 the flower headpiece light blue ninja suit. This outfit is shown super quick, but if we pause right here at the start of her thrust upward into this enemy, we see a white flower piece in Eve's hair. So this is another accessory that we'll be able to put on Eve. Perhaps we'll get to add different headpieces to her that really get creative and wild. As Eve continues her motion upward, we can see the side of her leg reads AU. I haven't seen these letters used in unison yet throughout this trailer, so I'm drawing a blank on what this could mean. Perhaps there are more letters that we simply cannot see. We do get to see the back of Eve's outfit. It looks almost like a loose ninja suit or some kind of top of a kimono. I'm not sure if the black part of the suit is a hood, but it does have the general shape. So maybe this is another suit that has a hood for Eve to equip. And again, I really love the baggy look on Eve. It's such a nice compliment to some of the more revealing outfits, such as the next one we got here. Outfit number 18, the dark tube top and red leather sideband pants. 
Okay, I just want to say that the arm cannon is freaking awesome. I can't wait to get in and make work of some enemies with all these different weapon varieties. Okay, back to the outfit. This is the first more traditional tube top we see Eve wearing. It looks like it's got a red hue to it, but it's kind of hard to tell. And then as Eve has her arm stretched out firing the arm cannon, we see this graceful shoulder piece flanking both of Eve's arms. There's some type of emblem or medallion pinned on the left of Eve near her collar, so this is probably another emblem that signals her name or military designation. Finally, as I pull back here, Eve's got more of a bodysuit bottom with the black and red leather pants. She's got a red band going down. I think there is some text there, but I can't make it because of her hair. I do love the movement of her hair here. The development team must have had a lot of fun with the physics and mechanics of making her hair move. And then Eve's gone is more of a glove that appears to be held up at the elbow line with some additional synthetic components running down the inside of her elbow joint and forearm. Outfit number 19, Game of Death slash Kill Bill yellow tracksuit. I'm immediately reminded of Bruce Lee and Uma Thurman in their yellow tracksuits just by the color of Eve's suit here. We see a hoodie and an overall baggy look to Eve's top as well as a waist-high girdle. Such a really cool look. Eve is crouched here so we can see that her thighs have this white light running down the length of her pants and end at the heels to reveal some awesome looking white high heel boots. Again, I'm not really sure how Eve can function in such high heels, but she does as we pause here we can see the front of her outfit. I gotta imagine that the developers did take inspiration from Game of Death and Kill Bill, but it's really great to see that they made it their own in this amazing outfit. Outfit number 20, the bunny suit. Okay guys, so I almost missed this outfit in the breakdown. This goes by so fast in the trailer, but when I slowed things down, I couldn't believe what Eve was wearing. So everything I said about functionality and story beat influences, yeah, just throw that out the window because here we get the bunny suit. I can't really tell if Eve is wearing anything at all besides the bunny tail on her back and the hooded bunny ears. <laughs> okay, but she is. She's got some type of bikini outfit that reveals some side boob and then that's almost all that we see. This outfit is nothing but sexiness and fun personified in Eve. That's it. <laughs> this outfit does add to the, again, almost confirmation that we're going to be able to put on hoodies while we play. I mean, come on. We get Eve pretty much naked here looking like a bunny. We've got to be able to throw the hood on so we can rock the bunny ears. Looking forward to this outfit and what other fun ideas the Shift Up developers have come up with. Outfit number 21 black and red side lace hexagon suit. Our last outfit of the trailer is just an amalgamation of everything we've seen so far. It's like the developers took some functionality, a lot of sexiness, incorporated the exospine components, threw in the illuminating lights, and tied everything together with some lace and landed with this. This is one of my favorite outfits of the trailer. Eve's got a neck-high top that has some metallic components running down the shoulder. Eve's chest is held up by a bikini top and black mesh. And then running down the front of Eve, the outfit transitions to some black leather and red aluminum hexagonal features, all held together with a front zipper and side laces as it comes down into a skirt. Wow. <laughs> this look is just stunning, and to top it off, we get some thigh-high black leather stockings, and then Eve is rocking some elbow-high black leather gauntlets to match. They also have some red illuminating features. And then here's the money shot. Eve drags her sword upward, and we see her in the same outfit, just tearing through this enemy. Okay guys, so we did it, 21 outfits from Eve. I just loved talking about all of these. I'm really torn about what type of suits I like more. The bodysuits, such as the green starter suit or the dark black spy suit give Eve such a formidable and powerful look. However, when Eve is in real world clothing, such as the schoolgirl or gothic skirt outfit, or when she's in a suit 
that is something born from the creativity of the developers like the yellow bikini suit, I'm so impressed and it's really hard to pinpoint which ones I like more. We saw 21 in this trailer and we know we've only scratched the surface here. The gameplay and cutscenes of this trailer look great and it's really exciting that we'll see Eve rocking so many outfits that inspire, bring joy, exude grace, and really keep the player engaged in what seems to be another incredible third person game here on PlayStation 5. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for hanging with me throughout the video. Leave me a like, tell me which outfit was your favorite, or if you have anything to add, I'd love to keep the discussion here going about Eve and all of the amazing outfits I just broke down. See you next time. Peace.